vaccines are failing in uh, Britain and now other European countries. They're finding large amounts of explosives in France. Uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, who is known as Vladimir the Ruthless, and using all his profanity on national TV, you name it, we won't read the profanity here, uh, but we've got it. Uh, this person is on an unbelievable power trip and resembles a demon. He is a creature of the IMF and the World Bank and international communism. He is a former KGB head, and this information is vital. Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing the New World Order uh, really come out in full force. More wars than have been in the last 50 years are going on right now. The war in Chechnya is raging in Grozny with, well, reports of hundreds of thousands dying. Is that true, folks? Is there, are there more wars going on right now than in the last 50 years? Are there hundreds of thousands of people dying right now in Chechnya? Listen to this. This man is just making it up right out of his head as he goes along. Uh, 20 to 40,000 civilians trapped in the city. Russian hinds are being shot down. Tanks are being blown to bits. Uh, massive, uh, grod, unguided rocket attacks are being launched on the city indiscriminately right now. Air and artillery bombardments as well. Uh, it's absolutely out of control. It is pandemic, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'll give you the news first on Y2K. The newest developments, the Pennsylvania nuclear plant has been shut down. Um, one of the main uh, systems transferring the power from it uh, failed, but they say it's not a Y2K problem. And the things I'm experiencing here in Austin, Texas, the shelves are empty of water and some gas stations are running out of fuel. Uh, here in Central Texas uh, and in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the shortwave is basically down, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, went off right as I went on the air. The big news on Y2K. Then we'll start going to your calls. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. All right, let's go ahead and get to this article. Associated Press, uh, this came out at 7.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today, December 31st, 1999. Pennsylvania, nuclear plant shut down. One of the two nuclear reactors at Pico Energy Co.'s Limerick Generating Station has shut down... Uh, this morning, after a piece of equipment failed, company spokesman Neil McDermott said the problem was not Y2K related. It was declared an unusual event, the least serious emergency classification of a nuclear power plant. They've got to have a serious emergency to shut down a plant, ladies and gentlemen. You power one down, you're not going to power it up for at least days. Um, it was declared an unusual event. At 2.55 a.m., shutdown occurred when an insulator on the main generator transformer from Limerick 2 failed. We had reports yesterday of this. Off the record, I would not report it, but I had it from a good source that this plant was having problem along with four other plants. I may just go ahead and report it here. Um, I mean, boy, do we get good information here. This has been going on for days. Uh, from our information, it is not this, this transformer that they're talking about. They wouldn't just shut a plant down over that. Something serious may be going on there. So that the central government, known as the federal government, the occupational government, uh, in Washington, D.C., has set up a huge $50 million command bunker hooked into all the FEMA boxes that can take over all the shortwave uh, broadcast and commercial AM and FM stations as well as television broadcast stations, and we hope they do not activate that, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, police and military are on high alert, running around looking for supposed boogeymen and terrorists under every rock. Uh, military uh, are highly visible now. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, there are trains of military equipment moving into Austin. Uh, two nights ago, on Wednesday night, the Fox News reported that the airport will be used as a massive holding facility for troublemakers or rioters here in Austin that has no history of riots. They need to get that country locked down so they can stage the election for Vladimir Putin. I mean, this guy is a demon. Have you seen this guy? It's just how he's raging with power? I'm Alex Jones. I'm your host. I'm just one of the great hosts here on the GCN Radio Network, and I've been very passionate today because I can't even keep track of all the developing news as it's coming in. I'm not going to get into the. I'm not even going to say it's it's six to seven reactors across the country. Um, I'm not even going it, to. It, right. it, it, it's bad, and I, I got this news about the Pennsylvania plant early yesterday. Got it again off air. Confirmed it with someone that is 99% accurate, about like I am, trying to report the truth. And now I've got the Associated Press saying, well, they shut the whole plant down, but uh, they call it, um, they call it an, an unusual event, the least serious emergency classification of a nuclear power plant. Well, it's got to be pretty bad for them to power a plant down. 
Time is getting shorter until Y2K. If you want to be sure your family and loved ones weather the potential Y2K storm of delays, shortages, or interruptions of services, then now is the time to stock up on emergency supplies and a home food reserve. As the developments uh, move forward with this Y2K and this gear up for uh, clamping down in America and Russia and around the world by my globalist forces will be bringing you the news as long as we're here on the air. Now pretty much dictator and controller uh, of Russia publicly. And here in America, they're gearing up and bracing for terrorism and militarizing everything in front of us. So it's happening there, it's happening here. There they're using the war with Chechnya. Here they're using Y2K and the threat of terrorism. Oh, this is extremely serious. Two weeks ago, Topol M, 6,200-mile super range, multiple warhead, Newest design U.S. clone technology missiles were deployed across Russia. They're mobile. Uh, these are first strike type systems. They're also designed to uh, uh, survive several strikes from America or any other nation. They're deploying these, and Yeltsin openly has been threatening us weekly to nuke us. I mean, it's just getting insane. Uh, and absolutely, this looks like just one more ratchet on the takeover of America. And yes, um, they have an extreme strong man in, KGB leader, running Russia right now. They have deployed their missiles against us and their submarines and have already delivered uh, fully functional missile cruisers to China. Yes, he uh, took, the, took the codes off and he took away our first strike capability. By first strike, that means if missiles are in the air, mm -hmm. let's say 4,000 of them. Russians have got a lot more than that. Right. 4,000 missiles coming in, subs launching, uh, suitcases going off. Uh, we have to wait until we absorb the first strike that will mean virtual uh, annihilation to our military uh, brass. I know you're CFR. You've been told you'll be able to be in the bunker if they go to this level. I don't know if they'll do it. It may just be ratcheting down the global system. Here All I know is this. Boris Yeltsin, at 4 o'clock in the morning, as the Russian time zone in its eastern area near Japan was entering into Y2K, uh, he resigned, and now Vladimir Putin, known as Vladimir the Ruthless uh, by the Russian people, uh, is now taking the reins of power, supreme power in Russia, and he is a former KGB chief. There's something else I want to tell you, Alex. Well, hold on just a second. Okay. I mean, this is extremely serious. Again, I was getting this information, what you just said two days ago, and I, and I got it even more. I ignored it then, then I got it yesterday, uh, and now it's in the Associated Press that in Pennsylvania... Uh, where you're calling from, in the city you're calling from, one of two nuclear reactors at Pico's Energy Co. Limerick Generating Station was shut down uh, this morning after a piece of equipment failed. And they're saying it's non-Y2K related. This is just unbelievable. One other thing. I heard Bo Greit say this morning that Russia said if their power goes out that they're going to blame us and they're going to set off their nuclear warheads. Well, I didn't hear that, but I would be interested uh, to um, to have any details. Uh, do you have the details of what Colonel Greit said? No, that's all I heard him say was that they said if they had a power blackout, they'd blame it on us. I know they're threatening to nuke us every single week. I've read the Associated Press, Reuters, Interfax News Agency, London Times articles here. I mean, I read Yeltsin and Jiang Zemin's quotes, the dictator of China and their... They're, they're saying, well, we'll nuke you. I mean, it's, they spell it out. We will hit you with nuclear weapons. We reserve the right to hit you. Three weeks ago, their uh, head of other missile forces uh, said, we reserve the right to nuke you first. Uh, their currency is plunging. The Egyptian pound is plunging against the dollar, uh, the Japanese yen, the Deutsche uh, Mark, and the um, just all of it. It's, it's, and the same thing is starting to develop here in America. Uh, I've, many of the gas stations here in Austin have the little uh, gloves over the pumps saying they're out of fuel. You n never see this in Austin, Texas. Right here in South Austin, I've seen several stations. Uh, we don't know if this is just a Y2K that was here. Um, just bizarre behavior. Americans standing up as Russia threatens to attack us with nuclear weapons, as nuclear power plants, at least one, are being shut down. Uh, as the military runs around with the police and the FBI saying terrorism is imminent, and some would characterize us as dangerous because we report the facts. Absolutely out of control. 
Uh, just maintain your readiness, be calm, defend your family, defend your country, but uh, doing a fabulous job. He is consulting with people that he knows personally, a lot of former military people that now own radio companies. And, uh, in fact, I'm not even going to say who the individual is. I'm sure he could call in publicly. I just don't want to uh, give a lot of folks' names out on the air. Uh, they have activated a powerful uh, Cold War uh, radar system in the North Pole region. Uh, that is something that is grounding out shortwave. The entire 9400 band all throughout the uh, 9.4000 up to 9. Point, uh, yeah, nine, I, I mean, they are, the military traffic is everywhere right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, scrambled. We've got superpower uh, radar systems, nuclear systems up. And perhaps our military is refused. It was Clinton that shut down that uh, Cold War radar system. It's now back up from people that actually worked in there. We have it confirmed from the sound and where it's coming from, from experts. Fresno, where our servers are located, is in the middle of a blackout. Ladies and gentlemen, we're off the Internet. Uh, this is just absolutely out of control. That's why the commercial stations are so important. Paul, more information coming at you on the other